Colonel, as you know, there's a growing controversy in and out of Congress over the question whether it is really worth the time the, and the money, the 20 to 40 billion dollars, to get a man to the moon. Have you ever had any doubts about the importance of getting to the moon? Well, I think all of us have to consider these things uh, very thoroughly. Certainly Congress does, because they're right in the middle of the budget hearings now, of course. Uh, I don't think we can pinpoint the worth of this, really. I know that the race aspects have received uh, at least their due credit. I think, though, that basically this is a, an exploration. And I don't think we know, really, until the exploration is completed, whether it's going to be completely worthwhile or not. I, I certainly think it will be, but uh, I don't think we can really pinpoint every answer until we complete the exploration. Colonel, I'd like to get your own personal opinion on this. You've risked your life and you've devoted your energy and your time uh, in this race to get to the moon. Uh, are you yourself convinced beyond question that it's worth doing, and why? Well, yes, I, I am, or I wouldn't be in the position I'm in. Uh, I do think it will prove to be worthwhile in the future. Now, as, as far as trying to pinpoint exact specific benefits that we'll reap from this right now, uh, once again, I think it's an exploration. I think those things are still in the future. We're involved in a lot of research to find out whether it is worthwhile. I certainly think it is. Colonel, you, you were once quoted as saying, uh, and these were your words, this could help my kids too. I want them to be better off than I was as a young man. Now, if your fondest expectations were realized and we did get to the moon, uh, what benefits do you think we may bring to future to help future generations? Have you any idea on that? Well, I think the, once again, I can't pinpoint exact things. All I can do is fall back on something like uh, the Lewis and Clark expedition heading for the West Coast. How did they know what they were going to run into? They ran into things such as uh, the Yellowstone phenomena, uh, which are still mainly curiosities. On the other hand, they ran into such things as the uh, salmon runs of the Columbia River, which have developed whole new industries in that area. Uh, I don't think that I can, uh, in fact, I know I can't even begin to pinpoint what we may run into or what may prove of most benefit, but I think man's participation in this guarantees one thing. If we can see things, perceive them, analyze them, relate them back to our experiences here, uh, this is the main thing that man brings to the program. He can see things, new things that, that now are completely unforeseen or unknown. Uh, this, to me, is probably what's going to be the biggest advantage of having a man in the space program are things that we don't even foresee right now. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.